How's everybody? In this video, we will explain how to configure this Epson brand printer over Wi-Fi on a PC with Mac OS. The version or model is Epson's L3250. You have to turn on the printer. And wait for it to connect to the Wi-Fi network beforehand. You have to do that setup now, don't you? You must configure the printer to the Wi-Fi network and your laptop or Mac must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network to recognize it. There you can see that the LED has stopped flashing but the Wi-Fi LED must be turned on. Let's wait there for a while, you can see it, it's already on. You mean you're already connected to the Wi-Fi network? Well now the next step is to configure or connect our system to the printer. To do this, you must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so that you can detect it. In this case, I have. Mac OS operating system, we will see more information here, not Mac OS Ventura version 13. Right? Now it's updated to see 13.2, so what we're going to do is close this window, close this window, and we're going to see the Apple icon and system settings where it will appear. configuration control panel or control panel as Windows is known. No, in this case we have all the options to set up on our Mac. In this case I will look for it. I think it is in the last part. Here is the printer and scanner. No, I don't have a printer. As you can see then we will click the add printer button and as you can see the printer has automatically recognized it. I didn't see us choose a driver here. Uh, we will tell you to automatically select the same Mac or search on your system but in this case I found no, not like I couldn't find it. We will because it stopped selecting software and we need to look for the printer version 3250. And as you can see they can't find it, it's not in the printer software list. The 3250 has three, well 31 series, 35 and no longer has 32 series, not OL32, which is the printer we have in this case. So we have to download the software from the product web page, so we're going to continue that process. Well, in this case, I went online and looked up Epson. Here I wrote the wrong Epson L3250 driver for Mac, so we will search here. I just want my country Peru, you can choose your country. And here I recognize no Mac OS 10.5x above, we can use this version. Or we can use 11x and we'll see, and here it tells me 10.15 detection, we won't see, we'll give it to you. I get this version, we'll give it to you to download. There's a download, we'll install this one alone. Okay. I had downloaded it, so we let him install it. We didn't tell him to open it. We get the brand logo. He will ask us for our key. We get the license issue. Well, we lower it. We let him accept it. Well, it tells me here that Exxon will collect some data, and I will remove this from you and I will remove the information. Express record, we will also remove it. We will do it next. This is already set. Next, no. Here you can see the detected one like this. We we'll give the IP next. Well, here's a list of programs we want to install because if I'm going to scan from this Mac, I usually use it to print. Manuals, I don't want this either because it takes up space. I just want software ready, that's all. I don't want anything else. I just want the printer to work to print my documents and stuff like that. I don't usually use scanners very much. No, I'm downloading the driver and installing it. As you can see, it's a very simple process.
just like installing it on Windows. It's much easier on Windows because all you have to do is detect it over Wi-Fi or USB cable. The printer is automatically installed. It's not very simple. Well, systems like Mac or Linux, there are some details that must be kept in mind. Finally, we get this message telling us to click OK to add it. The queue of the Exxon printer to the system printer list. We don't click OK. Here you can see that the printer is configured. What I will do is send a test page and we will see if it works. We're going to have you print out a test page. Okay, we've sent it to print. Let's see how you can see the printer is already processing. You received the order and started printing the test page, as you can see from our Mac. And we confirmed that our printer was set up and ready to use from our Mac. And we finished the process. As you can see, it was very simple. A very practical video explaining how to set up a Wi-Fi printer in case for macOS systems. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a like and... Subscribe to our Valigos home until next time.